Welcome to IMHO. In my homosexual opinion. I'm Darby. And I'm Alexis P. Bevels. The P today stands for Pudum Pudum by Kylie Minogue. Okay, we don't have the rights to this. We can't play this. Oh. I actually, I haven't heard the song yet. <laughs> <laughs> it's fun. I know. It's good. I hear that it's good. I kind of love, okay, you know how I haven't seen Star Wars and Jurassic Park and all that. Yeah. It is kind of a fun, like, I haven't heard it yet. Like, I'm a, Yeah. I'm well, just, the internet like, is obsessed because Padum Padum, what does that mean? I listen to the song, so I know what it means, but I kind of want you. But God bless you. Before we get into too much Padum of the, of the Padum, can we talk about the elephant in the room? There's an elephant in here? As many of you are now noticing with your eyes. Yes, I am wearing boobs with this top, and when I wear this top, I usually don't. But I just, I felt mm, the boobs needed to be boobing. Yeah, I'm proud of you. Glad we addressed that. Don't yeah. you feel better? Mm -hmm. I do. We are here to discuss another episode of RuPaul's Drag Race All Stars 8. Alexis, what's going on with you? What do you mean? Why do you look like this? Oh, my gown. <laughs> yeah, 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 I'm sorry, your gown. Yes, thank you for asking. I had some work done on my house, and so the dust and everything that kicked right. it up, everything, there was some kind of allergic reaction to hmm. my face, so I'm taking a break from makeup and skincare. I'm just going back to basics. It's getting I'm much doing, better, though. It's getting much better. The other day was truly awful. I thought I was going to die, and what's left over is not good. It's not good. Not preferable. It's not preferable. So we're just giving my skin a Does little bit of a break. It did hurt the other day. It, it's not as irritated. It's so weird. Let's just get into this. Okay. If you're a skincare person and you have some ideas you want to put in the comments, it started with the eyes. And it started with the eyes like almost a month ago. Oh, then we need to, we owe them an apology because we did call out the mascara. So I did don't know if letter? it's the mascara. Yeah. Okay, good. I send them the letter P. There was something with the eyes. I thought, oh, maybe I used something. Maybe I didn't need it to, maybe I needed to like clean a brush or something. We all need Something's going on there. And then I thought it was the mascara because there was redness and irritation around the eyes only. And then there was redness, almost like four perfect dots at the corners of my mouth and down here by my jaw that were itchy and red and irritated. And I couldn't focus on anything the other day at work. I was so miserable. I almost left early. I didn't. Oh, no. I was so miserable, but I had moved. So I thought maybe moving now that I lived in AC, my skin was reacting to that Maybe something mm. on my face. I had no idea. I do think it was a reaction to like the change in the weather and the AC and all of that. Well, we're also very, uh, we're in pollen season. And we missed it when we moved, because we, we moved here like right after it. And it's or still been, yeah. it's going been back and forth between being hot and cold to so much here, which is so random. I, okay, I will. You hate it. I, I hate love it. it. I'm I hate obsessed. It with a passion, a passion. I hate it. I was so sad moving here, thinking I would never experience fall, and now it's been year round. Oh, we have had <laughs> that one. That's a that's perfect. Yeah, that's perfect. <laughs> yeah. We, the last year in LA has been fall. Yeah, it has except been for but two fall. months in last summer, which was hot as balls. Well, yeah, and I will that, never. That didn't make us yeah. want to just kind of like die. But yes, it it has absolutely it's, been it's fall. It's been yeah, and by the way, never ending fall. Yeah. Not great. It's I, getting so, better. I got a preview. I got a preview of it. She, she got a preview on. of it like 60% healed. Yeah. I don't love it for you, but it's, it's real. It doesn't appear. Ooh, wait, I can't see those shades of reds. You can't. Never so, mind. I was going to say, it doesn't look that bad. Because remember a couple of weeks can't. ago when I asked you and you said, I can't see. Oh yeah. I couldn't it, tell that your eyes were red. Honestly, it looks like, so around my eyes, it looks like a sunburn and it kind of feels like a sunburn. It was hurting so bad. It's way better now. I think it's healing. I'm um, glad we're we're friends that don't hug. I'm kind of gone back to basics with my skincare. I'm using just a gentle, gentle cleanser and a moisturizer, and then this thermal water spray. The Avan water spray. Oh my god, I love that spray. I've been obsessed with it, it and I've been day. bringing it to work and spraying it like every hour, and I truly think it's sped up the healing process. I love that spray. Yeah. Get it today. Not Aven sponsored. thermal water spray. Not I actually saw it at CVS the other day. Really? Yeah. Oh, but I like it's getting it from It's a famous French you. brand. Yeah, no, no, no. Yeah. In the last year, I was getting a lot of TikToks about skincare, and they need to be 25 steps. We talked, I think on here, we talked about Neo It Girl, and like, I do... I 
I buy we everything she tells me to yeah. buy because I think she's one of the most beautiful people in the world. Now I'm seeing a trend on TikTok is do less. Like dermatologists or TikTok dermatologists. Let me see, I, let me see those certificates. Yeah, let me see those certificates. But they're saying like, we're doing too much. You well, gotta calm down. I, I and I'm like, but I yeah. already bought it. Yeah. I'm gonna keep doing too much until I lose interest. So in a couple days. Or until your face explodes like mine. That's true. My face currently is so good. We're the yin and the yang. You understand? Yeah. But it's good practice for, because I do think I want to get face work done. So this will be like a fun little everyday thing. I support you doing anything to change who you are fundamentally. But... I love your face. I think you look gorgeous. I would get very minimal. Paul Rudd, Blake Lively. I would yes. exactly. Yeah. I wouldn't I do, do much. I would just do something to open my eyes a little bit and then maybe like I saw a TikTok the other day that was saying like Free when you go to lining. South Korea, Botox is like thirty dollars. It's not seen as a luxury item because appearance and your skin is so important that it's just like everyone yeah, everyone upkeep. gets Botox. Yeah. Everyone upkeep. You know, I'm in my K drama era, so I do see them constantly going to the dermatologist on the show. But I didn't put two and two together. We need to go to Korea. Would they let me in there? With the mask on? Just in general. Bitch, they've seen they so They probably much love... Oh, I started... I watched a new show randomly. What? Something fun about where I live now is we'll just, like, sit in the living room and watch whatever's on. So I watched this show called Well Mania on Netflix, and it's about this messy Australian girl, Jennifer Lopez. Mm. Not... Jennifer Lopez, but you know, right. Ollie. And she's trying to get her green card so she can come back to New York. And the doctor won't pass her because she does like lots of coke and drinks too much and stuff and eats bad. So she's like getting her life together. And, Wait, her, and her brother. To get back her, where? She's mm. trying to get back to New York. She's trying to get her green card. I'm work sorry. Visa. They won't let her into the United States because she eats bad and does coke. Yeah. Isn't that an American way of life? Oh, well, when she was at the U.S. consulate or whatever, I don't know how it works. She was doing a She line. passed out because oh. she had just been on a bender. Right. And so they were like, we're not going to let you leave the country like this. Oh, that's protecting her. Yeah. And that's so but it's important. really fun. It's along the lines of like, Britney runs a marathon. Remember that movie? Oh, I love that movie. Yeah, it's really cute. I just watched that movie again the, the other day. Isn't it such a good I watch? I love that movie. It makes you I feel good, actor. doesn't it? Oh. Also, so I'm so yeah. sorry. Yeah, no, my God, please. A surprising watch I came to and now I'm, I'm loving Hustle and Flow. It's so cool to see people do what Hustling they- Hustling and flowing. Do what they're good at well so and then important. also get accolades for it. I love it. I love it. And also it's sad to see their dreams, you know, shattered and they have to go home. But, but also I love that Cardi part. B is so fucking cute. We know that. We know this. I, I know, this. but I'm, I just love it. Did you see the tweet today that Whoopi Goldberg said that the birth of American Idol was like the end of decent society? The birth of a show that puts people on display so that we can all judge them and watch their dreams get crushed? I, w I agree 100%. But you love Hustle and Flow. No, it's different. Sure. They don't sing as much on that show. I can agree and still like it. Yeah, of course. It's we like the internet. We contain multitudes. We contain multitudes. It's okay, like the we're internet. Complex. We're complex. Yeah. I just finished. I'm not I, I, I'm. not sleeping well lately. I got to be honest with y'all. So last week when I was having sleeping problems, I was like really upset about it. But then this week I'm like, you know what? If I don't sleep well, then my K-drama early evening thing will become an all night marathon. Oh, because all yeah. K-dramas, for the most part, are limited series. They're all 16 to 20 episodes, an hour each episode. So I binged the fuck out of one of the highest viewed ever K-dramas called Games. Squid Games. No, no, like in Korea. One of the highest viewed oh. dramas in Korea. It's called The Lady in De... Dignity. Fuck. It's so good. It's so good. It's 20 episodes. It is absolutely, without a doubt, a soap opera. When you say soap opera, you immediately think of Young and the Restless. You immediately think of those things that are shot on those shitty sets with like the bad cameras or whatever. No, this is shot very cinematic. It's very beautiful. It's a very beautiful show. Oh, but it's Downton Abbey. Da down Thank you. It's Downton Abbey, but it is so fucking good. If you can't sleep, I mean, it won't put you to sleep, but if if you're like, fuck it, I'm just staying up tonight, watch it. It is 
phenom, and I get why it's one of the highest viewed okay, ever. Okay, maybe I'll put it on. But what was funny is when I finished at like 4 a.m. last night, I was still kind of awake, and I was like, I love this lead actress. She's one of the most beautiful people I've ever seen. Let me see what else she's been in. So her most recent Netflix series I went to, and she's basically playing the exact same character with the exact same problems, and I was like, oh, she's a niche. She's niche. She knows her niche, and she sticks to it. Bianca Del Rio. Speaking of the same thing every week, shall we get into this episode? <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> All Stars ate, and did they eat this week? I was left a little hungry. I was too. I did not like this episode in general. Yeah, but also... Loved the girlies, loved moments. But also, this is why the writer's strike is so important. <laughs> you cannot make drag queens write I, their own I skits. think the writer's strike started with this episode. We did get the returning game of the Hit crew balloon pop. Oh yeah, mini This challenge. time they got to choose if they wanted to give or receive. Candy's a side. Did you see that? She tweeted that today. Oh, I didn't see that. She's not I top. Love that. She's not I think more and more people are coming out to say. Yeah. I mean, the lifestyle I leave is mo is mostly side. Yeah. Pillow princess, but to the side. Right, right, right. What is a pillow princess again? You just lay there and let things happen. Oh, fun. I just the listen. If I find myself suddenly on top. In the middle of sex, I feel like a superhero. On I'm top like, Look or at me. the top? Don't be ridiculous. On oh. top. I felt bad, as I always do, whenever Bruno is with another pit crew member. Let's they be honest. I only want Bruno. I only want Bruno. Yeah. And the other pit crew member, he's a neuroscientist. And I mean, he's, he's hot super as hot. fuck. Yeah. He's so hot. But if I'm given an option, do you think that the girls volunteered or do you think they just called? Because I have to say. I think they just went in well, order. Well, because I was like, happy that Lala did get, because Lala lusts after Bruno, and that's how she and I really connect, is our yeah. love for Bruno. Yeah. Sorry, our lust for Bruno. So she got to do it, but I did think, was there anybody that was a little like, I really wanted Bruno's hands on me. His nipples are so small, and I find that so charming. Kahana made me laugh when she was like, oh, I don't really know how to do this. And she climbed up on the stool like a cat. No. Kahana's funny and beautiful. Her, 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 she's a completely different person from her season. Well, and I'm not just saying the facial work. She is unrecognizable. But also, in her, we're, in her, we're getting more. She's so we're good. We're getting more of yes. her. I did think it was really funny that before the mini challenge, you know, Rue does her message and she talks in riddles and they all try to guess what it is. They're all just kind of like, I wonder what this means i think it means this candy was like oh, i think it means somebody's been spying on us girl the room you're in only has three <laughs> walls and no ceiling okay let, let, let's just get to it and we'll talk about the videos after <laughs> <laughs> So when they pop the balloons, they get colors, and they find out that they're in teams. They have to make a trailer. They have to make a trailer. They have to make a trailer to a TV show. You're right. You're right. We got to get to it. Because RuPaul, right. she looks gorgeous. Maud Apatow. Okay, Maud Apatow. <laughs> I've said this on this channel before, and I always will. Her mother, Leslie Mann, you know, father Judd Apatow. We saw Judd yeah, Apatow do. Yeah, we said it. Was how do you we saw him stand do stand up. And the stand up, he's not a great stand up, but hearing him tell stories is so charming. And of course, it's because you love it. And he mentions his family. We like all his family is famous. But Leslie Mann is the most brilliant comedic actor of our time. Maud. And Maud is her daughter. What also, do you think she's in Euphoria. Of, she's good in Euphoria. Abby, but what do you think of the Maud little shop online? discourse. Uh, Do you know about it? I know that there's hubbub. So she's in Little Shop. It doesn't really make sense because I do think Audrey should be a little bit more seasoned. And we just had the original Ellen Green mm. reprise her role with Jake Gyllenhaal. How tall is he? We still don't know. An elderly Audrey is very funny. But makes sense with the script. Elder abuse is not funny. No, Just but putting them in putting them in a show and then abusing them on stage. Funny. That's okay. So she's in it off Broadway and the hubbub about it is just that well the first thing was she got what well, I think is she got really high one day and she she laughed through somewhere that's green and a bunch of other stuff like completely out of it kind of thing and that was an issue. But there's just a lot of people online. I think we're very into hating nepo babies right now. That's like the culture we're in. Oh yeah. I think it's a little silly myself, but the hating on it. Nepo babies can be silly. I hope they're silly. I love Darby, silly people. Darby, you know I'm a Nepo baby, right? For a Southwest pilot. Well, yes, of course he flew for Southwest for many years. He retired. Mm -hmm. But he also got his SAG card because he was in a commercial. And they took a life-size picture of him and put it in the Denver airport on the, like, one of the gateways. It's kind of hot. <laughs> 
Okay, maybe I'm back to wanting to fuck your dad. So I'm a Nepo. I am a Nepo baby. Yeah, if you wanted to be a pilot. No, he was on TV. Oh, and now, you want to play a pilot on TV. If you play a pilot on TV. Oh, it would be yeah. the, the story of 9-11. And I would be one of the pilots. Why did you, why did you go there? <laughs> no, I just know that you love 9-11. Yeah, but not for the pilots. <laughs> Anyway, people are releasing audio of her singing, and you can see it on TikTok and whatever. Is and she good? She's she does have a good voice. Serviceable. She has great vibrato. I like her vibrato. Oh. She can scream belt. I don't know that it's healthy, but it it is. She's pitchy, but she's pitchy as it's all of us are. Of okay. She's not yeah. pitchy. Like we don't want our professional singers to be pitchy, right? Like we don't want Broadway singers to be pitchy, but like. She's off Broadway. I don't think she's that bad. I think the reason people are being so weird about her being pitchy is because we don't want young, beautiful, new people getting stuff. Nepo babies. Yeah. Also, also, can go I tell ahead. this? Yeah. I've been seeing because Little Mermaid came out. I've been seeing people have been taking little picture, little TikToks of the movie, and I've been watching them. I don't care. I love oh, it. Oh, I don't want to see it until I see it. Melissa McCarthy sounds fucking great. Obviously, Halle Bailey sounds perfect. She sounds amazing. Yeah. She is Ariel. <gasps> Have you seen the live-action Ariel is now in Disney World? Oh, my God. I've been watching whoa, them all day. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So freaking cute when and beautiful. When you see little black girls seeing themselves represented in Ariel, and they meet, and they kiss. No, they don't kiss. <laughs> I meant they hug. I didn't kiss the girl is Darling. on my mind. I'm sorry. Oh, oh, but they um, hug and you see their families are crying and they're my favorite TikToks in the world. It's Please so tag me beautiful. in them. I need to see all of them. Yeah. Oh, sorry, that gave me goosebumps. No, but what was I going to say earlier? Oh, I said pitchy 10 times. Remember American Idol and Randy Jackson? That's the only note he ever had. Can we just go to the runway? Yes. Oh, before we do that, though. <laughs> I'm just oh kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. So the runway is show oh, us your butt. Oh, fucking fuck. What? <laughs> I thought you were going to say something. <laughs> no. So, um, it's called ass or whatever? Show us your butt. Ass Show out. me your butt. Show me your butt. <sighs> we're going to start off with James Mansfield tipping our butt to her. Tipping her butt to, to her, her Mexican, Mexican and indigenous culture. Yeah. Beautiful. Very showgirl. She looked great, I must say. She may have been through her costume, showing tribute to her, her Mexican indigenous culture, but through her arm movements, she was paying tribute to white women. That was... <laughs> <laughs> and they even the judges did like, because I, I love James, they did say like, I loved seeing you really came to life with it. But if you really watch the movements... And as a white woman, that offended you. No, I, I felt represented. I loved it. Oh, you love representation. Yeah, it's so important. Okay. No, she looked great. I loved the costume and, again, her booty looked. Yeah. The booties looked good. I don't like wearing pads, but I want to know how to make them look that good. Oh, yeah. But I don't want to wear nine pairs of tights. Listen, I love seeing fat, juicy booties. That's my right as an American. But I did not like that I didn't see myself reflected up there. Like, where was the length? Where's the long, long strong, the Shelly long wall butt. shaped butts? Yeah. Like, my lower back was like, where are we? Right. Where? Uh, we? Oh, we're in the arm movements. Right. Darian Lake looking absolutely stunning. The best she's ever looked. Uh, Juicy, gorgeous. Her body looked yeah. so good. And when she squatted down and then slowly came back up, I loved it. We were Great we butt. were wet. Thank you, Lake. Oh uh, yeah, I would drown in your butt. Speaking of drowning in the butt, I liked this one. It's Alexis Michelle. She was a bride. She was very Sadie Sadie married lady. Mm -hmm. Just super like up here, you know, collar up to here. Mm -hmm. And then you turn around, you see a little butt. It was gorgeous. It was a gorgeous butt. No hairs. One of no... the funniest things that RuPaul has ever said, you may now rim the bride. <laughs> <laughs> She went to your wedding. I think she's in real life. I get the sense that she's such a slut. In the best way. In the, yeah. in a, in a, I say that with all due respect. James Mansfield, too. Yeah. I Harness. Think she, I think she's a freak. James Mansfield well, Harness. And she does the, she's hanky code. What's gray bondage? Oh, uh, gray's bondage? Yeah, she had the gray bondage and a harness on. I think she might like to get tied up. Oh my God, I just listened to a podcast about this woman who got locked under a waterbed for like seven years. In a sexual way, or they they she hit got her kidnapped. there. She got kidnapped. Girl in the box. 
No, this it, is it girl a different... under a water bed. Imagine the humidity. You she's know, my parents now, had a water bed. Happy. Did you check underneath it? One time I heard noises and I thought we were getting robbed. So I went downstairs to check. Their bedroom was right by the front door and I looked in and I didn't see my mom. And I was like, oh no, he got my mom. And then I looked towards my dad's side of the bed and my mom was on top of my dad. <laughs> like your real dad or the cardboard cut out from the airport? My real dad. Oh no! Is this That's why you're like this. Is this why you're trans? <laughs> Oh my god. You really do. There is so uh, much trauma that you are I, bottling up under your mom. I no, I <laughs> so I loved that waterbed so much. It was so fun to sleep on. My, Aunt my Linda parents had and back Uncle Tommy problems. Had one and I just, well, yeah, they're not good. No, they're not. And good. they had to be held in by something. So there's always a we really had to bring thick... the hose in from outside to yeah. fill her up. Yeah, and there's like a oh thick God. wood, so you were always hitting your shin on it. I remember. Like, to get yes, into it. I remember. Yeah, they're not one, great. I remember one time though, because when my dad would go to work, I would get to sleep in the waterbed. Right. Sure. Because he was the pilot. He was gone like three to four nights a week. Yeah. I was experimenting bags. with leaving gum in my mouth at night because I thought if it was still there in the morning, how fabulous that would be. I wouldn't have to get a new piece. And I had this favorite blanket. <laughs> I had this favorite blanket. How are you alive? <laughs> I'm barely alive. Look at me. And I had this, my favorite blanket that I stole from my sister. It was like a comforter. And for years after, there was just gum because it had fallen on my mouth that had like stuck to the comforter. But I still used that blanket. I think till college, and then my mom had made me throw it away. I love a blanket. I'm chill with any trip, any bed, anything, as long as I have my blankets with me. My chosen blankets. Just one, really. I'm alone on this island every day. No, I'm just trying to unpack why that made me so mad. <laughs> Like, well, speaking of making you mad. Okay. Candy Muse. She's no. never made me mad. She's never made me mad. This Over is being so, so beautiful. good. Over being so beautiful. This is so good. The only thing is. The butt. The butt. I the wish butt it was had wrong. a thong. The or butt something. was wrong. It looked the booty so was up weird. here. And then her actual butt was down here. And also, there was nothing in between yeah. the booty, but you could see the space in between the bulbs. But the concept. No, but the concept was the awesome. Front. And the it, it, she still looked so beautiful and good. It was incredible. That's yeah. the only thing I thought, huh, at least put a bowl there or something. <laughs> <laughs> I think there is one. <laughs> She's a side. There is not. She's a Sorry. side. There's I no hope. It. Is this Jessica Wilde? Oh, you can't see. I was like, baby, it says Jessica Wilde <laughs> yeah, here yeah. and right here. I can't really it see. It says Jessica Wilde Okay, twice. Jessica okay. Wilde. Mm -hmm. She looked very glamorous. Very mm -hmm. glamorous. And she kind of revealed into like an ass cheek kissy moment. I thought it was cute. I thought it could have been more for an ass runway. An ass centric runway. But I thought she looked gorgeous. Yeah, she kept referencing that she was the first something but... And so I think maybe that was supposed to be a reference to her season or something. I didn't, I, I don't know. I didn't totally connect it. I did appreciate the note from Michelle saying like, you are beautiful, but you need to add some definition, some depth some to oh. your face. She does paint kind of a more old school kind of look. And she didn't seem to catch the Candy Muse blush that everyone sees. Blush train. Yeah, that virus that's going around. I mean, especially standing next to everyone wearing Candy's incredible blush. Which, by the way, I don't know if you saw, it's... Covergirl or Maybelline, something like that. Something like yeah, that. Yeah, some like drugstore. Everyone follow Candy Muse I on Twitter. Love, I love that everyone's favorite little makeup tricks are always like drugs. They're always accessible. Yeah. You gotta find the diamond in the rough. Absolutely. Jimbo, Jimbo, done Titty it butt. again. Titty butt. Boo butt. But besides butt the butt boobs, I liked how it looked, I loved and I everything. liked the hair. I loved everything. I liked it all. I thought it was really good. Now Heidi in closet took ass quite literally, and she was a donkey she with a badonk a donk. I liked that. The concept was. I so loved funny. the concept. The execution was a little left a little bit to be desired. Yeah. But I thought it was cute. I definitely preferred it once the skirt and the top were gone. Yeah. I thought the the skirt cheapened the look a lot, so I'm yeah. glad that came off. Quickly. I just loved the ears. 
I loved the ears. I didn't understand. I like that what she tried to do with the eyes, but I think she tried to do an illusion where oh. her eyes are closed, but it looks open. Like yeah. it looks like cartoon eyes. It just, it just looked like it was closed. Yeah, I didn't see any eyeballs. So that was strange. Yeah. The thing I liked the most was when they close up on her butt, you see a little push pin is holding her tail on. Like pin the tail on the donkey. Oh, that's it's so It's a little cute. push pin or like Eeyore. Yeah. I wish the push pin had been bigger, like dragged up. So it was... A little more obvious yeah but yeah the concept was was a little better than the actual execution but yeah. overall it's cute but cute kahana montrese she's a latex nurse with a Ooh. giant syringe how I did she get it. that there you know what uh, maybe sort of i don't know thank you for that um, she looked great though yeah, yeah. i loved it la la re hmm this was tough for me me too yeah. Me too. And we've I've said this all season. I think there's a styling growth that I think is happening. It's just it's happening at a much slower rate than I would want to on an all-star season. Yeah. From the front, I was confused as to what I was looking at. And when she turned around until I looked from the waist down, I liked that the back was cut out and there was jewels and stuff. I thought that was yeah, cool. yeah. Again, it's it, again the concept was greater than the execution, I think. I don't know that the concept was great. I don't think there was a concept. I said greater concept. than the execution. Well, I don't even know that there was a concept. I think it was just a, a red suit, which I don't see as a concept. It's more of like a uniform. But when she turned around, I was like, okay, I like that. But then I didn't understand why they did the, the mesh, mesh nude. nude. On the legs yeah why not just do more of the jewels or even the red it d seemed unnecessary and it also it's... distracted from the butt yeah because i when she turned around i was really looking more at like we're trying to get our eyes to land on something yeah. and we say this with respect we are la la re fans oh my god of course but, we both want to fuck Bruno. but this was uh, this was this was it was just a little confusing yeah it was. i, I think great. you know what i think it was too many ideas and i think it needed to just be simplified a little bit I'm not gonna Lala read her for her hair because I know it was human and like <laughs> Lala read her. I'm not gonna. Did Lala. you make that up? Yeah. Are you serious? I just said it. Copyright. TM. TM. Yeah. TM. TM. That's so good. <laughs> Thank you. I love when I get you. Listen. <laughs> I think your face might be rotting, but your brain. <sighs> My, my face is healing. My brain's always been rotted. That is all of the spectacular. No, yeah, that's been all the right. ass runways. And now let's talk about their videos. Let's talk about them actually showing their asses on video. Oh, because I just have to say. Uh, okay, let's start with the first bummer. We have Darian, James, and Alexis. Alexis now, Michelle. Now this is, okay, Lost, love the show. Dead celebrities on an island. I have always thought this. I have always thought that so, some celebrities are just like, I don't want to do this anymore. And they peace out instead of dying. Who? Well, Tupac. It he was, was at the getting, height of his career. It was getting too tough. <laughs> He was getting Tupac. Honestly, I think Michael pieced out because he knew what was coming on the pipeline and he wanted to go out the king of pop rather than the king of predatory behavior. I think can we Marilyn- stop? Can we just like, can we just stop? There's so much music. Why do we still listen no. to Michael Jackson? I just want to say that. I just look, listen, do what you want. Do what you want. Here's the thing. But do we need a Broadway musical about him? Do we need two? I don't think so. I'll take another I... Tina Turner musical. <gasps> R.I.P. Rest in peace. We just lost Tina Turner. Yeah. I have to be honest, she has been... Do you remember when she was on Oprah and she was like, I'm 60. And she's like, you look great. Yeah. In my head, she's been 60 ever since then. Yeah. So when I first heard, I was like, oh no, she was only 60. Yeah. She was 83. Yeah. Long life. Beautiful. I love that she just kind of did what she, you know, she did her career. And then she peaced out and went to Switzerland. Yeah. I, that's exactly what I want no, to do. No, it is kind of a dream. It is kind of a it's dream. It's exactly what I would do if I ever came into money. You would go to Switzerland? I would leave this in a heartbeat. I could see you moving to Luxembourg. Oh. Now, okay, without being able to see your face, and you just go quiet, and I just see your head going like this all of a sudden. <laughs> <laughs> I honestly was like, where is her med alert bracelet? I need to make sure this isn't a sign. I love you. I, you know you Bryce, have you know Bryce just got her passport. I know. She is you a know citizen the, of Luxembourg. You know it's the most she has dual expensive, citizenship. You know, it's the richest country in Europe. And she is the And it is the most skinniest, beautiful. Most naturally beautiful no, person. No, I don't want to talk about her. I know. I know it sucks. I don't want to talk about her. It sucks her. when you know an actual skinny beautiful Luxembourgian. Okay? It sucks. It's so beautiful. I 
have to go back and honestly you and Curtis need to go because you would love it. Yeah. Especially in the holidays with all the markets. You know they have a Notre Dame there. It's smaller than the original was, but it's not burned down. I was about to say the original is a little smaller than it used to be. <laughs> Oops. You know what I miss about Chicago? <laughs> Chris Kindle Market. I it's that exactly what Luxembourg is like. It's my favorite thing in Chicago. I miss the Chris Kindle Market, and honestly, I liked the Addison Wrigley Stadium one better than the downtown one, just because it was closer. One time, I went on a date to the Chris Kindle Market with a man who practiced Santeria, and I didn't understand Santeria at the time. I was just nervous because there was like a shrine and a bunch of candles, and I got scared because I was uneducated about it. But besides that, he got really clingy. And anytime Santeria? anybody... Santeria? Is that like a Santa religion? It's like a religion... About um, Santa? No. It's Are you a re- being serious? I'm being serious. I still don't know much about it. Is Santa involved? Sa- no, no, no. Santeria. But you found out at the Chris Kendall market. That's why I'm stuck on Santa. No. I'm sorry. I'm Afterwards, just... I came home. There was a room with nothing in it except like a, a shrine. cabinet. With oh, a shrine and a bunch no. of candles. And I was uneducated. I didn't know about it. Now I know that whatever, believe what you want. I'm but not a believe what you want. But there's a little bit of chicken sacrifice there. Because I think everything... There's I think a little bit of chicken sacrifice in it. Cancer. Oh. So I, that was I love scary chicken. to me. Chicken nuggets work. Yeah. Does he eat it? I don't know. He had a huge cock. Did he, and he was, sacrifice And it? he was interested in me. And I... Know? No, but you know what? He... he no, what did he do? <laughs> he drew me a bath and had me take a bath, and he just hung out while I was in there. I love that. It was the sexiest grinder hookup I've ever that. been on. You know what Curtis and I used to do when we first started dating? We don't do it anymore. But... Have sex? <laughs> no, we have had sex. Well, I can't say this on the show, but it's it's working. Ooh! Let's just say I have gone from side to side. I love the shower, I love the sound of the bathtub running, not filling up, just running. And so what we used to do, when we lived in Chicago, we had too much water, so we had to waste it because we had too much. Yeah, the river. We would put, clean the bathroom first, I'm not a monster. We would put blankets and pillows and we would build like a little, like, we would <gasps> fill the bathroom floor with like blankets and pillows and then put candles everywhere and then run <laughs> the water because it's my favorite sound. I'm not kidding y'all. Derby! The yeah. sound, the sound of the bathtub running. It is my white noise. It sends tingles all over me. It's it, your ASMR. Yeah, it 100% is. And so we would turn on the bathtub and then sometimes we would have sex. Sometimes we would just like kiss and cuddle and talk. It was his like way of being like, I know what this does for you and I just want to be a part of it. It's the, Is that not so sweet? It's so hot to me. It's so romantic. That's so sweet. Yeah. Oh, God. We don't do that anymore because there's drought. Speaking of drought, this video... Oh, can I say... Get off island. Yeah, get off me island. (laughs) (laughs) Get off me island! (laughs) They're in Jamaica. I have no idea. I have no idea. One thing that kind of struck me that I thought was really funny, because, like, Alexis... Well, actually, the entire team is of a certain age. They're Mm -hmm. all in our age range. And so, Uh. as I'm watching it, I'm like, this was absolutely written by gay men above 35. Yeah. Because they picked Agnes Moorhead. If you're gonna do something that you really need to appeal to a younger audience, because let's be honest, Drag Race fandom is is much younger for the most part. Yeah. You need to at least pick really well-known, like Marilyn was a good one. Elvis would have been like kind of funny. You know, something that everyone knows. But the fact that she's like, I'll be Agnes Moorhead. I was like, she, well, yeah. I mean, I love it. And she looked great. She did not sound like her though. That was a bad impression. James' impression made me laugh. James's impressions made me laugh. And not to jump ahead, but sure, why not? It's our show. I thought of the entire team, Darian was the strongest by far. She was the one that made me close to laughing. And I think they changed how it worked after their initial judges critiques. And hear me out. Darian's runway was fire. She was the best part of that team. And when they bring them all up, you know, RuPaul says, you may have been a group, but you will be judged as individuals. She said, we saw her say, you may have been competing as a group, and then they cut away to a view of the girls, and then the sound changes. You could tell it was like a voiceover. Oh, ADR, yeah. And she goes, and you will also be judged as groups. 
which yeah, doesn't make sense. Which that make that sense. sentence doesn't make sense. Well, because and I think it's because they knew Darian needed to go. Like well, she, and they also knew they didn't want to send home James or Alexis that, yet. Well, yeah, and they also knew that it was Darian's idea. Well, they knew because Alexis, Alexis said so. And honestly, I was kind of down with Alexis the whole time until that was that was an, a little bit unnecessary. It was very unnecessary, uh, but funny. And I, like, don't. I mean, just go down with the ship. If the ship's going down, just go down with the ship. You had your chance to speak up. She kind of did. She got overruled. And, you know what I mean? okay, sure, the video didn't turn out well, but, like, you didn't do a great job in it. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah sure, the video overall was bad, but Darian still outperformed you. Yeah. I don't care if you if it wasn't your idea. Yeah. But, you know, I do love a, I do love a movie or a TV show about being shipwrecked on an island. Castaway? I love that film. How? Does that work so well? Like this. What? They didn't work at all. I'm doing facial expressions. You can't see. Got it. I forgot. Okay. Got it. Got it. All right. Let's move well, on to our next Castaway group. Castaway was filmed. <laughs> Castaway was filmed in the heyday of Helen Hunt. Remember, she's in it for five minutes. Listen, I'm obsessed with Helen Hunt. We and all if are. she is not we in the are. Twister sequel, I am are. going to still see it. She's but I'm not going to be happy for a little bit, uh, then I'll be happy. Cause you know, he worked at FedEx, right? Or whatever. Yes. Oh yes. And the hub of FedEx is in Germantown, Tennessee, where I grew up and we were over the moon that so Germantown, were finally Tennessee getting was going to be in it. Exactly. Yeah. Well, it would be years before I'd see myself on TV again <laughs> until James Mansfield did this. <laughs> and then suddenly I was back. But also you were in Walk the Line. I was in Walk the Line <laughs> and you can see me and I do this. <laughs> you can see me. You can't make out my facial features, but you can see me. Yeah. I walk the line. So the next group is going to go ahead and actually be Candy Muse, Jimbo, and Jessica Wilde. And they do like a high school Mean Girls Clueless meets Carrie. Meets horror. Jimbo is scary and she plays a villain. I thought it was okay. It didn't make me laugh out loud, but I thought it was good. Of all three, they had the most complete storyline. It was leading up to something. We know yeah. kind of what it's leading up to. And we eventually got the end of the story. Did you see the, the other the... two didn't quite ever get there? Did you see the nerdy villain who cracks name is Muffy? Again, I ask you. How are you still alive? Fish basket's gonna get you. <laughs> yeah, I did giggle at how uncomfortable Michelle was with yeah. how horny all of their Jessica jokes Wilde. were. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, all of them had some sort of something that made her go, oh, I don't know that we can do that. In Michelle's defense, Drag Race changes networks every season. So while they're filming, let's be honest, she didn't know if they were going to be on Paramount, MTV, or TLC. She had no idea. So yeah. she's just like, Quib I don't know Quibi. if we could do it. I, I might be on Quibi. You and she is focusing so hard on holding that binder. You know what I mean? That binder is a lot heavier than it looks. And the paper cuts? Oh, don't get me started. And the pinches you get from those three rings? So I thought they did a pretty good job. It didn't make me laugh. It didn't make me laugh. But I it enjoyed did. the story. It was, it was a, a yeah. clear story. I understood everything from start yeah. to finish and all three girls were in their character the whole time, which I don't think we can say for any of the others. Yeah. Now speaking of the others, next up we have La La Ree, Heidi in Closet, and the stunning Kahana Montrese. Now, this made me laugh. This did this make, made me, laugh. make me laugh. Two bumbling bitches trying to burgle a beauty like Kahana Montrees and fucking it up is just really it's funny. funny. Lala Ree's voice was so funny and her characterization was so funny. Heidi's voice, Heidi's her teeth, voice and, and funny. her hair, yeah. they made me laugh. For me, Pada me, Heidi and Lala were in the top. I think their looks held, held them back. Held yeah. Them back, Lala yeah. and Heidi did have really weak looks. Yeah. Yeah, I guess Jimbo is the winner. Never mind. But as far as what made me laugh, their trailer made me I, laugh. That it was, was the only one, that, the made only one that made me laugh. But yeah. it also, much like the people falling off the cliff in the island or whatever, it was leading up to something that it never quite got to. And so I think ultimately yeah. the group that won, which was Jimbo's group, was just because they had a, a finished story. But I did want to let y'all know, I just want to fill y'all in. So it was about tucking panties. Tucking panties is something that I found out so late in life. They're so incredible. The company I use is Tuck It Up. And I think oh, I found yeah. them through Abby. Not sponsored, but... But check it out. Check it out. Yeah. They are... Tuck it out. so fucking good. Tuck it up. Easy to wash. Not that I do often. You know, I love my smells. Check get, out Tuck get It Get yourself up. some tucking panties. Yes. Yeah. What would you have pitched your sitcom to be? Or TV show to be? It was a movie trailer, but yeah, let me think. No, the whole thing was about sitcoms. It was? Yes. It was a sitcom trailer? Yeah. Yeah. 
It was a sitcom trailer? Yes. That doesn't make any sense. It was supposed to be a sitcom. A sitcom trailer. Have you ever watched a trailer for a sitcom? <gasps> I saw a trailer today for a new movie, Problem, Problem. The Problemistas. Yes! Julio Torres. Is Julio one of Torres! The funniest comedians in the world. A brilliant mind. And this a is truly gonna be... unlike anything you've ever seen. And he has a comedy special called yes. uh, Tiny Little Things. Shiny Little Tiny Little Things. Little Shapes, objects. Shapes, I think. It's like he took that and turned it into a movie. And it's an A24 movie with Tilda Swinton. And it looks crazy and it funny. It looks amazing. And it's. I'm so excited. This is gonna be great in every way. Yes. Okay, um, I'm sorry. What would your sitcom be? I think it'd be really funny if we're just two best friends. Okay, me and you. Oh! And okay. for whatever reason, I'm under the impression that you have died. We're talking on the phone or something and like suddenly I hear like a crash and like you won't answer when I call you back. And I only try once because I've got things to do. So the next time I see you, like you come to my house because you lost your phone in the, in the wreck. So you come to my house and I'm convinced you're a ghost. Like, I never yeah. believe that you're actually alive. I'm like, Alexis, honestly, you're being too much for a ghost. Like, it's too <laughs> much. And I ask you to, like, come be in the room with me for, like, important things and situations. And I'll, like, whisper to ask for your help because I think- <laughs> Oh, that is funny. That's, that's funny. that's funny. That's funny. That's funny. I would do it. You remember, you know, you heard of this movie, Wicked? I would do, like, we're the evil stepsisters from Cinderella. And I would do, like, our story. So it's like- What is our story? Thank you so much. Well, I can't mm. give it all away because right, right, it's right. TM, we're not going to give TM, it away TM. in the trailer. But it's like we're not evil. We're just kind of like our mom hates us too in different ways. So we try to. Okay, well that's that's reality. <laughs> Parental love is not unconditional. No, just because you have a person doesn't mean you automatically love them. And that's the theme of your sitcom. And that's Laugh the theme out of our loud. Sitcom. If you're a producer out there and you liked our ideas and you'd like to produce this show, please email I am. Show the manager, my manager at manageme.edu. Just tweet at us. So the winner of this is Jimbo. Jimbo's a winner. She wins the chance to lip sync against someone. We'll find out who later. The bottom three are Alexis, Michelle, James Mansfield, and Darian Lake, and they are all up for elimination. It was kind of easy to see what Jimbo was gonna do because at the beginning of the episode, Darian's unpacking the box and Jimbo was like, I voted for you, Darian, just Sorry. based on track record. Yeah. And then she's in the bottom again and it's like, well, everyone is just kind of track record at this point with Darian <laughs> yeah. at the very least. I'll be interested to see next week, like if someone didn't vote for her, but it seemed pretty obvious. Anyway, so we find out the lip sync assassin. Is the one and only Chanel from season one. Okay, I have to say that was quite a shock yeah. just because it's been so long. Yeah. But then once I knew, and then I went back and I thought of, you know that image everyone's been sharing for a week where you see like her legs and then the shadow? And I was like, that's kind of tacky. She looks a little tacky. Who would wear something so tacky? Oh yeah. Chanel. Did I tell you she came into the store and I helped her yeah. buy some things? No, I like her and I love who she, she is stole, in the Drag Race world. Do you remember when she stole that woman's money from yeah, her purse? that was great. And she had to release this like 10 minute a apology statement. video statement yeah. thing. I loved it. That was so funny. I loved it. What's that video with the woman screaming for her parrot? Chanel! I'll show you. They lip sync. Unfortunately, this is Jimbo's fifth time lip syncing and her fifth time losing. Yeah, I didn't think she. Here's the thing. It wasn't a great. Jimbo's song. not a. Jimbo's not a drag perform. She's not a performer in that respect. Yeah. She had the energy right. She had the look down, but she just did the same thing the whole time. Yeah. She just did this, and that's it. And Chanel had a reveal. Chanel, Chanel had. had the that was classic. Classic drag good moves. Lip sync. And she looked beautiful. Her face looked beautiful. Yeah, I mean, oh. she's, she looks very Vegas. Yes. Old school Vegas. Chanel just knows how to work a pre Chanel song. knows how to perform. Yeah, so Jimbo loses. She has to pull out the so lipstick. So the person's lipstick that they all voted for was Darian. And now she is out of the lake and up a creek with no paddle. What was her... Her goodbye message was like a strong statement. And I was like, just be funny and wander off. Oh no, it was it was nice. It was, you may have reached the end of the road, but that means you can take out your shovel and work even harder to carve out a new path. I think it's what she said. That's not very funny. Oh, you know what I would have said if I were her? What? When you reach the end of the path, just jump in a lake. And then I would throw a bucket of water on everyone. <laughs> she does hey. constantly have a hidden bucket of water somewhere. It's kind of fun. <laughs> Okay, if I were her, I would have said, 
They tried to drown me. Oh, oh, oh. If I were her, I would have said, now this ugly duckling truly is a swan. It's back to Swan Lake for me. Do you think she was ugly just because she? No, had... wow, I don't. That's fucked up. I was just trying to get. To I may Swan not be Lake. a great lake, but I'm an okay Darian. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, that's oh. terrible. Darian, we love you. I'm so happy that she got back, and I, I like what she said in her talking head of like, I'm just so happy I got this opportunity. Yeah, like I'm. She is beautiful. Yeah. Everyone go watch her special. Altered boy, right? Yeah, I, I think yeah. that's what it's called. Uh, and that's it. <laughs> <laughs> if you like this episode, no, no, no. Oh what? wait, oh, wait. I, I, what? I wrote down something. I wrote down an ending that I thought was funny. Start reading right there at this big, at this one, and do like a presenter voice. Do a presenter voice? Or like, oh, like this is the end of our episode? Yeah. Okay. Darian drowns off the coast of Get Off Island. But will the Fame Games be your lifesaver? <laughs> we'll see next time on RuPaul's Drag Race All Stars Season Eight. <laughs> Yeah, and then look at me. You know when talk shows, when the camera zooms out and the celebrity and the talk show host lean in close and start right, talking? Right, right, right. I've always wanted to listen to Okay, let's take it out. Okay, let's take okay. it out. Let's take it out. Next time on RuPaul's Drag Race All Stars 8. <laughs> oh, you're saying it now? Uh, I don't. Next time on All Stars Season 8. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? It's crazy because. <laughs> It's yeah. not funny because you have a mask on. Oh. I can't see your mouth moving, so oh. it just looks like you're going. <laughs> <laughs> you do need to wear that metal alert bracelet. No, okay, if God. you like this episode, hit subscribe and of course that little notification bell. Join us on Patreon, patreon.com slash IMHO the show. We also are both on Cameo, so we can send a message to a loved one, a hated one, or both. Or you can skip the middleman, go straight to IMHO the show.com and get yourself a shamio because it's to both of us with the background. It's so exciting. And we have an exciting announcement. Oh. We have the premiere. This is the launch of new merch on dragqueenmerch.com. It is our Cunt Honey Baby Line. We have a few items so right there. So you could get an embroidered hat or an uh, embroidered shirt that says CHB. Or, or you can get a tote bag that says Cunt, Cunt Honey Baggy. Baggy. Is that cute? I have to be honest. I came up with ideas. Curtis was the one that he came up with Cunt Honey Baggy. He was the one that like picked the fonts. Everything I liked. He was like, no, do that one. Is that so like, sweet? We don't have don't to give him a share. The... We don't have to sh cut him in. No, can I tell you? I showed him the website and he was like, I want one of those hats in white. And I was like, yeah, cool. I don't get a special discount. You can buy it yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Are you or is that how you order things online? Well, Men. Honestly, probably that's how he does it. I know things just work out for him. For him. I know. Yeah, he's Bye. very attractive. He did come in. He had workout today, oh. and when he has workout, he comes home and he takes his shirt off and he likes to do. He likes to show me his pump. By the way, he likes to do this. By the way. What? Oh, that's hot. Yes, but like I said last time, he needs the feedback. He needs me to say hot, and it is hot, but I know that he needs me to say this, so I don't want to say it. Because he doesn't do this. He doesn't come in the room and take his shirt off and go into the mirror, right? He goes. Okay, I was about to say the following. Do it. Maybe you give the husband the love of your life a little bit of what he needs and wants. But then, you did that. <laughs> no. No, I always no, do. No, no, no. I can always tell. I always give him what he wants. No, of course. Um, uh, but mostly. Yeah. Sometimes. Oh! Depends on the day. <laughs> yeah. Have I had my coffee? Oh, yes. And what time of day it yeah, is. Of yeah, from like 2 to 3 p.m. Yeah, exactly. Listen. It's my sweet spot. When someone is trying to get your attention without just saying, hey, look at me, mm -hmm. but like doing, being loud, making noises, trying to, like dancing Oof. at you, it makes me so angry. And I you're know. right. It makes me want to not do it. I, I don't want to give them the satisfaction. What is that? It's, um, we're the stars. You can't be the stars around us. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> Oh man. But by the way, what? when are you gonna introduce me to Curtis's trainer? Cause you know, I've been looking for a new trainer. He is really insanely hot. Right. And he's very nice. Oh, also we are back at the Aster June 1st. Yes, so just... kicking off Pride Month with a variety show. Click the link below. It is a members only club, but you can, it's free. If you RSVP if on you the RSVP, link. If you RSVP. And they let the first hundred non-members who RSVP in. I don't know that that's ever been an issue in the past. No, you can get it. You can get it. But you do have to RSVP. You can't just wander up. So just click the link. It's free. It's a really 
really Center. cool space, and we love it's seeing you. It's very, very cool. And we get to sing and do our little banter, like everything we do here, yeah. plus song. And we have Fina Barbatal, we have Lauren uh, Banal, we have Amber Crane, we have Isadora Spreads, and then we have DJ Rubella Spreads. And she may be wearing makeup by that point. I. It's a week I'm, away. I'm crossing my fingers. Yeah, me too. I'm crossing my fingers. You could and... get into your Orville Peck phase. Maybe this is like the little nudge she needed. I love Orville Peck. I just love that I'm finally the pretty one, without a doubt. I mean, I always feel like the pretty one, but then I read the comments and they're like, Alexis looks gorgeous. And I'm always like, Alexis, did you write this? You don't think they're just being nice to me because I'm sad? You already have a fabulous house, husband, mm. dog, job. And a banging flat ass. And a banging ass. Damn. They don't okay, want to lift you I'm up even this. more. I want to say this. Lala Ree showing her butt. And she that said, was. She said, I know I'm not, I don't have the biggest butt, but little, little cupcake little... booties need love too. Yeah, absolutely. I know that I joke about having a flat butt. I really don't. I do have a little cupcake booty. Yeah, and it's getting bigger every day. I have such a cute little butt. I love yeah. it. I just recently, I had the, my travel makeup mirror is the Hello Kitty one that like, it's, it doesn't matter. I don't want to tell you this, but I love it. And I was like, I wonder if I sh like shave and near my butt and I use that mirror because it's, it adjusts and it's really bright. I wonder if that would help. Bitch. There's not a single hair on my butt right now. <gasps> my butthole has never been smoother. You want to see a hair? Go somewhere else. I don't even have to wipe because it's just so smooth. Everything just falls away. It's incredible. I mean, I do wipe. I'm not straight. Get yourself a mirror with a bright light and nair that shit. It's so great. Okay, for those of you who have problems with ingrown hair and you're like, I can't really shave down there because I have problems with ingrown hair. I used to have the exact same issue. Willem saved my life. I don't know where she was talking about this, but years ago I saw Willem talking about tend skin. Oh, tend skin. T-E-N-D Yeah, yeah we saw that. It's in blue bottle. Yeah. And then there's this, I, I, I'll put a link from our Amazon store. Hey, TikTok. Oh. There's this like kind of silicone plastic brush thing and when you're in the shower just scrub the area in a circular motion with the the silicone brush it just has these little silicone like tips on it and you do that circular and then when you get out of the shower put the tinned skin on i never have ingrown hairs on my butt anymore like ever i do have very sensitive skin though so i will say i do have to use tinned skin twice a day tinned nice. skin again not sponsored incredible life changing. My butt right now, beautiful, gorgeous. I would put it on TV. I'm just letting you know. Drag race. Can I see it? Yeah. Here, stand over there. Oh, <laughs> oh it is lovely. That's nice. Thanks. I think you were in frame for that a little bit. I want people to see it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we love you, bye. Uh, woo!